This is like the fourth time I've done this, so I'm going to do this really quick. Okay, uh, this is how I think the WWE can be fixed, uh, and maybe some other promotions with problems like this. Uh, unified titles, like all the titles, you just just take the women's and the divas in the world and speed in the IC in the US, and the tag titles are already doing it, and just put all the titles, like just just do that. Too many titles, too confusing, and. If you like the brand split, you can you can end the brand brand split and just have everybody on both shows. If you're not, just have the champions go on both shows, and you can have NXT doing what it do, either way, okay? And then one set of announcers make it happen. Do it. I don't care how. Just it's ridiculous. I I, I can't stand Michael Cole. Matt Striker needs to be pushed as as a like he's the best heel announcer they got. Jerry Lawler, it's over, man. You're old news. I mean, I love you. You give your moments, but it's it's starting to you're starting to slow down, man. If, if I don't know, um, and uh, I need to make the TV rating at least a hard PG, if not a 14A PG 13, because it's people beating the shit out of each other. I mean, seriously, you can't get around that bottom line: people beating the shit out of each other. You 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 can't you can't make that G like it's um. I bring back like only on pay-per-views. You don't want to be bleeding all over live television, but bring back blood on pay-per-views because some some feuds and matches like the Hell in a Cell they need blood. They need blood, and the chair shots need to be you know gimmick the chairs or something. And but you need to bring chair shots back. They've been there since the beginning. I understand all the problems, but it, the taking away the chair shot is like taking away a baseball field from a team that's had it for a hundred years. It's it's just not the same. Um, have an off season. This is the biggest change I will make. Uh, an off se- like there's some smaller ones, some bigger ones, but have an off season. The month after WrestleMania, uh, you know, it could be a month off for main eventers and and you know the higher upper card, and you can push you can push younger talent and older unused talent, you know, like Christian and Kane and stuff like that. And uh, you know, the off season prevents injuries and burnouts. You know, you get to rest up, heal some injuries, and people are like. You know, they're always talking about how, like, you know what, I just got burned out, man. I needed some time off. Well, give them that time off. It, what, you know what I mean? That's ridiculous. Uh, just just a month off if they want. Like, you can make it an optional thing. Um, recognize WCW and use their match types and methods. I mean, Nitro used to give away free tickets if they weren't going to sell out. You know, get better. Get, it'll get on good terms with the fans. Like, yeah, man, we're not going to sell out. Have some free tickets. You know, have a free ticket giveaway or something. And then, um, uh, you know, there's a... Uh, you know, they always had fan giveaways, you know, like give away a shirt or something, like give away a poster. At every, at every, at, a, at an event when you walk in, you just be like, hey, here's a poster. Who gives a fuck if it's a John Cena poster? As long as they're trying, it's like, yeah, man, here's a free poster. Thanks for coming up. Thanks for paying money to see my guys work. Thank you. Like, that. Like is that so hard? Uh, you know what I mean? And like, um, you know, induct W. I know they're starting to do something like this. They're gonna have like a Starcade team WrestleMania, induct WCW talent slash Randy Savage. I know there's lots of, you know, bear the bear the bear the hatchet with the, your rear Randy Savages and your James Cornettes and your you know your Ultimate Warriors. Just go out, just Vincent Man, just come out there with your hand out. And be like, I'm sorry, can we work with you guys? Like, let's just let's put this all behind us. Like he he did good with Bret Hart, but let, let, let's see that keep going. Uh, the tag division, uh, just, you know, get more tag teams, just take, take some random jobbers, pair them up, and throw them out, see if they work, and then only break them up after they got real popular as a team, because it doesn't always work when you just break, break them up right away, like, um, and it's just, if you take two main eventers and put them in a tag team, it doesn't, it's, no one, everybody knows that's not gonna stick, it's not gonna be like, oh my god, they're the most dominant tag team, it's rated right RKO. No, no, just get some actual tag teams in there, please. Um, bring back managers. Uh, Brock Lesnar without him would have been nothing. There's, you know, one man gang without Slick would have been absolutely nothing. You know, stuff like that. You know, your Heenan's bring, bring more wrestling and and more wrestling. There's too much talking. There's just far too much talking. More wrestling. I want to see the wrestling. I don't want to hear uh, Triple H banter on about how he's the game anymore. It, it got old in '95, okay, or whenever it was. 2001? Yeah. <coughs> 2001. Uh, and the Divas, um, just, if, if Divas can't wrestle, make them valets. If they can wrestle, don't make them valets. Like, don't don't pull a bad Phoenix. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put our most dominant uh, female wrestler with uh, with our comic relief in Santino and Of course. 
Um, fine divas, imposing divas. There's, there's, you know, like your Awesome Kong or Isis. Isis is a seven foot tall worker in the independence. I don't know how. Like ROH and TNA have both passed up. I don't know how in the hell you passed up a seven foot tall woman. You could do so much with that. Uh, Fire Leprechaun, just fuck Hornswoggle. Take Seamus. Make Seamus just fucking crush him with his bare hands. I fucking hate that guy. Stop the and, and all the black stars are like yo dog came from the streets. That's where I'm at, man. I'm I'm aiming I'm aiming to get back to the streets, man. Like your R truth and your fat too and your to a lesser extent men on a mission. We on a mission. No, no, just just stop it. It's racist, it's horrible, it's it's tired, it's done. Find another way. Um and give your smaller guys a chance, you know, like your Evan Bourne, you know, your Evan Bournes and stuff, just they're good at wrestling. Wrestling is what they do. Let them go out there and do what they do. I don't know. I don't understand why that's so hard for you to be like he's too small. Like, Vince McMahon's always had a hard on for huge guys. Like back to the eighties. Like who who are all his main eventers? Some six foot seven psychopaths. You know King Kong Bundy and your Hulk Hogan brother. The smaller guys can work too. I mean, people like to cheer for the underdog, sell tickets. Um, Japanese wrestlers and Japanese women. Like, I don't know, like Yoshi Tatsunaku, very, very good wrestler, just, I don't know why ja why Vince is, just go to Japan and be like, anybody want to work for me? Like, Japanese wrestlers are, are can work, they are beasts, and, and Japanese women can wrestle, you can get a big-ass Japanese woman to come in and be a dominant heel, or something, it's not that hard to just, Japan has an influx of wrestlers, crazy wrestlers, just go over to Japan and be like, you guys interested? I mean, seriously, no. I don't know, what happened to Carlito and Chris Masters? I think they're still there. Or Chris Masters is getting hired and fired on a regular basis. I mean, just throw them on SmackDown and let them do what they do. Because they were popular back in the day. And uh, Triple H needs to go. Bye. It's, it's old. You just do something in the back or something. You're just... Um, you're not doing anything for anyone anymore. You're just pissing people off. It's getting old. No one cares, Trips. No one cares. I seriously would keep Hornswoggle over Triple H, and I hurt Hornswoggle with a passion. Oh my god. But, uh, yeah. Just, uh, that's how you fix the WWE. And, uh, the Isis is on, uh, is on YouTube. She has a few videos on YouTube. She's a beast. Uh, I'm sure she's not the only really tall woman wrestling, but, uh, if, 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 like you know, bring in like bring in tall women and bring in big women like, and you know bring in Japanese wrestlers, more Japanese wrestlers. You know, like people are saying like there's not enough new guys and everyone's the same. Bring some Japanese wrestlers in. Go to Europe and get some. Go to Europe and raid Europe of wrestlers because in Europe they're different styles. You know what I mean? Just just mix it up. Variety is the spice of life. Uh, you know what I mean? And that's another thing. WWE is getting stale and repetitive, and just mix it up. Just do something unexpected. Just, you know, Vince McMahon is just so hardcore in this thing. It's just like Triple H versus uh, On Raw. It's like, oh, Evan Bourne's going to come out and challenge Triple H for the champ. Or, no, Evan Bourne's going to come out and challenge John Cena for the championship on Raw. Let him win. <laughs> no one's going to expect that. People are going to be like, holy shit. I'm watching next Raw then. Like, if, if, if seriously, if, if friggin'. Like Funaki or someone like that came out and, and and won a title like that, or even came close, like the Jeff Hardy um, Jeff Hardy Undertaker match, where Jeff Hardy had a good chance. Of, that's all you need to do. Just make it seem like they can win. They have a good chance of winning like that. That's all you need to do. That that's how you make people look legit. Well, seriously. All right then.